Hello friends um, and welcome to uh, join me today and keep me company while I create this um, journal cover I have in mind. Um, I have collected some inspiring things and I want to create a, a vintage style cover that um, looks gentle yes but also kind of wistful somehow um invite inviting and well soft but with an edge i don't know anything more about it yet but i have collected these and let's see what happens uh this is this one um feather i really would like to use here uh, then there are some um scraps of um lace and <laughs> this is a um bit of a uh, tool that um, our um cat mr hemingway has uh, really loved already and I thought it would be <laughs> wonderful in here. There is a, a flower that um, might be, this is a broom of flower, that might be um, just perfect because I would um, have liked to use a pressed um, rose a flower, but um, I thought it would um, inevitably get ruined and the bezels would fall off so I decided against it. Tiny bit of lace. Uh, some uh, vintage um, things I might find useful and then I have a bit of printed um, frames and another frame here and then i have all kinds of bits and pieces um these i picked because oh well i found a stack of them maybe a couple of hundred from flea market but also because the cover will be something or exactly this size because i'm going to use these cardboard piece and um I was planning to create some layers upon layers with using papers and I thought these might be helpful in here but we need to start from somewhere so we will start from somewhere and let's see where we end up um, going I'll put these here. So, what I have here is this cardboard piece, and um, I am going to um, add it on my journal. in one way or another because this uh, is the first time I'm actually doing just a cover like this and then I'm going to find a journal it fits into <laughs> so uh, we will see I love this tissue paper so I might Part with this spot for it, I'll need um, soft matte gel. I love the I'll put this aside for a moment. I love uh, to tissue paper mm. as. 
first background layer because it really um, is soft looking, more soft, softer than um, if I used only a gesso and also because I can crumble it a bit so it will not be uh, perfectly even as you can see which means I have from the start an imperfect um, project and I never need to worry about it being perfect. I think that's uh, rather handy when you create something, don't you think? Because we tend to demand so much perfection these days, especially from ourselves. At least I, I think so. You know what I mean. Social media and everything being so perfect and sparkling. There is no room for errors and mistakes and imperfections and human, <laughs> pure human mistakes. Okay, I got started already. Sorry. <laughs> But where's my heating pump? Sorry, I seem to have lost my heating gun. Sorry, just a moment. <laughs> you you can never guess what's happened. Ah. <laughs> uh, my husband has left my <laughs> heating tool for <laughs> for his project mm. with his car. I just realized, but luckily, sorry, I have a brand new one because it's the uh, old one is really uh, <clears throat> smelly and smoky when I use it. So let's. <laughs> Luckily, I have another one. I'm using this uh, or or um, creating this background only uh, this far because I want um, the edges to be neat. So that's why I folded them and now I'm adding just a tiny uh, layer of soft matte gel in here to protect uh, the tissue paper. I'm sealing it with With it. So it was soft matte gel. My favorite. Okay. And then white heavy gesso on top. Mm -hmm. I have a bad habit of um, leaving my gesso are open 
for the whole day when I am um, crafting or journaling maybe, uh, more likely. Uh, and I always forget to close the lid while I'm doing something else or planning or cutting or or something and it uh, really would be um, much wiser to uh, not let it dry so uh, easily. Another layer because I want it to be just a background. Heavy chest because what I am going to do now is to uh, take a baby wipe here just in case. Uh, mm, sorry, <laughs> my papers are. Painting right before of me. Okay, so Snow White impasto paint, uh, beach black, and dark chocolate, or um, the shades I'm going to use. And now I'm. I thought it would be wise or ideal. to paint the edges of this background cover so that when I uh, uh, use those scraps and laces and so on um, they won't absorb anything that's why Painting at this point. Okay. brush I am so going to mess this paper if I don't move them here's my sprayer
Okay. This is what I had in mind uh, with the paint. Although I would be really mm, clever if I paint the sides now because these are much easier to paint blend now. Um, later a little bit more structure okay that's it paint away for for a moment so I'm not going to soak my fabrics and so on in them <clears throat> now I have this uh, piece of vintage curtain uh, I thought might be perfect actually first I um, played something uh, like this with this fabrics but and then uh, hmm, what I was going to do is maybe something like is as the starting point but then I realized it's not mixed media <laughs> if I do that so I uh, threw that um, idea from the window for now and thought that actually this might do because I do have the whole curtain of this. Um, this might actually be rather lovely if I cut it as really rough. <laughs> you can't maybe use a term rough with it but you know background for the whole thing so let's see
as you can see, I'm really, really, really um, prompt with my uh, measuring before cutting. Just maybe a bit smaller still. Not much. This way. I always uh, test which way is the way I prefer. Actually, I made my own wedding wedding dress. 20 years ago, over months, over 20 years ago, uh, from um, curtain and fabric uh, from from um, some kind of a uh, sale and um, I remember uh, thinking aloud and uh, um, there was this saleswoman um, there who, who heard I said that I love the background I, I would I will use it and she was horrified <laughs> No, you cannot use um, it the uh, wrong way up, but I hide it. Okay, so here's what I think I uh, start with. I might not end up using this, but I would still like to because it's, um, it gives... Um, different kind of a soft roughness uh, than all the papers because you can't do this with the papers and if I would uh, have thought ahead of it I would uh, have done this beforehand but then I always like to think that the whole process from the point of when I have collected all the materials from that on it's all part of um, the steps uh, that end, end up with, um, the, you know, if I skip uh, showing you this, you don't see how, you know, bit by bit it um, comes alive. So, if I have this one here, I could use this. Let's see what I would absolutely love to use is this uh, envelope. It's from um, the 40s. Uh, it's a um, frontline letter. I would love to use it, but it's just so incredibly same size just <laughs> as this and if I put it this way it's not um, so if this one is here and okay, this paper is from a uh, lexicon from Beginning, beginning of the, I think this is from uh, 
14 or something. Just when I thought I had this finished, I do this. Poor you, sorry. I want this one. It's meaningful. I think this is going to be smaller and smaller um, by the minute. <laughs> Let's see. Because I want there to be lots of layers. I'm going to add a uh, clear gesso to the papers I'm actually going to use and um, seal them uh, with gesso. But uh, first, I really want to uh, know which papers I'm going to use. So, hence this part. I'm not sure if this is working. This one doesn't work because it's so big. Actually it's uh, the wrong um, color that's why it won't work. And then here As you can see, this is really not that uh, I hope it's not that boring for you to follow because 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 Fabric. 
let's see no it needs something soft i hope i'm not getting you a headache with my fast testing of these papers and layers Today is the first day of, maybe, maybe I can say it, first day of the spring here in Finland, uh, because today it's almost 10 Celsius degrees and um, thus far it's been really, really cold and uh, windy okay it's windy but it's less than uh, earlier and sun has appeared and i think i can see um inkling of um, green on the trees already so maybe maybe soon I really miss summer not the heat I hate when it's over 20 degrees but uh I miss the flowers and birds on. Okay. So this, then this one here. I think I can safely say really uh, soon that I do have a lot of layers in here. Don't you think? One's not working. How about this? I love this. This is my favorite paper of all the time. All times this is a uh, seven dot studio paper. I don't remember the name of this actual paper, it, but it, I think it's from the skyscrapers or series or something. Yes, this is perfect. Unless I something like this okay put uh, this away because I think I'm not going to use I love this but no not for this one what we need to do is clear all the fabric excess off and uh, this is something I want to test if I put it in here does it make something good it does it a bit um, lazily and there is so much white in there I don't want it to uh, be that much visible <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is to forget 
absolutely and um, most certainly everything I just did. But I need to, I want to use clear gesso. Now for the papers because I might uh, use uh, impasto paint for the edges and it means I need to kind of seal this first. Just in case I want another one of these. I'm not going to use that one, nor these papers. So I throw them aside and just so for this little one too because I want to make it look a bit more like me not like a product This might be just a process that a part of the process or a step that's not necessary but uh, because I have a tendency to change my mind a lot um, and I always forget what I have done or if I have done I find it uh, safe to protect everything uh, at this point and then I know I have done it and later on when I add paint there is not that um, oops effect uh, that sometimes uh, is really a wonderfully surprising thing and um, Usually not so much, but I think um, what is uh, it really benefits from going uh, through all the edges with. A little bit of paint, not much, just um, enough for them to look like they are loved by time. And if I hadn't used I have my uh, sewing machine, <laughs> machine right uh, there and I painted, painted it. 
Now I forgot what I was saying. Oh dear. Completely forgot. Yes, I have uh, used clear gesso and the surface is uh, kind of sealed. Um, I can more usually have something to say uh, how to paint going to go with this okay um, this one I think because I want uh, it to be folded this way I am going to paint from this side too even though I haven't used a gesso here but because um, it's not going to be visible, I have, can leave all the sides like this. Maybe this one too, because I think to more. Um, It. The more it has um, kind of scars, brokenness, ugliness, uh, the prettier it is in my eyes when there's something in there. Um, now I need to. <laughs> Make room for this one. Okay. I need to um try these because I want to control how these uh, paints are going or not going into the fabric and places and also because there are some synthetic glazes and I, I'm not certain about the vintage curtain fabric 
I think it might have some synthetic fabrics it's with it, so it's not going to be friendly with the keeping them. Okay, and this one. Almost forgot. It's not perfect. Ten. Perfect for me. Okay. Let's put this aside again. Just in case. Okay, just do it. I mean, um, the starting of something is always, um, um, how can I uh, describe the feeling? I think you know what I mean. Uh, I think when you have whole world ahead of you with a project all the options ever um, imaginable available and you have to decide which ones are the ones you are going to use and that's something I I think that's something I always I think I am um, well also I do adore using windage stuff um, because of that um, um, I'm just in love with the ribbon edge of this but I need thing about uh, using all the windage uh, trash is to be able to be a bit of um, careless with them to think that okay it doesn't cost anything it's ugly but it didn't uh, ruin my um, budget <laughs> in any way but when they are um, piece by piece it's a really um, come along nicely I think uh, it's a benefit of using vintage papers means that there is a meaning a beautiful meaning of another chances and so on I could have uh, used soft matte gel for painting the uh, for uh, gluing these, but because I am not completely and one hundred percent person a certain, I am going to like what I am doing. Uh, hence. Playing it safe and using just glue and not gluing everything from the, from the edges upwards. I mean, with everything, this is not uh, at all what it was when I was 
on planning it, but it's okay. It's going to be something like this now. in here yes not behind that one and testing why I think this is uh, one layer it's too many so maybe this one and then I something sometimes less is more sometimes more is absolutely 120% better but this is a bit um, unfair but I <laughs> I ask hmm, what do you think because I'm not sure. It needs this. It really needs this one. But I'm not sure if it needs this. Or if I take this one off and put this in there. And then this one, and then this one. There was that larger one. No. Just is not meant to be unlike this. Sometimes it's just as simple as that. to use heavy body gel because I haven't been that precise with my gluing and <clears throat> heavy body gel and um, I want this to be a permanent feature of this piece so here it goes hm. I'm not happy with it but it's um, my bad I will be after I have um, used four and a half hours and uh, end up doing just like I did a 
first time. And then here, let's put something in here. This is, um, this um, is from a pillowcase. That was kind of safely said end of its uh, pillow journey at the end of its pillow journey and I decided it was time to get another life for it okay and Oh, this one. Sorry. As you can see. I was, um, really meant what I said about uh, changing my mind thingy that one now it's nice and um, let's put let's put her in there Upon layers thing, but it needs something um, to come off from there. It's not that visible, so let's make it visible. You can see a lot of plan planning ahead going in here. This speaks the same language and I know how they want to go. For me, also, um, I adore metal like embellishments and trinkets and mechanicals and stuff. But for me, um, they are not lace, they are not soft, and uh, it means for me, they need um, a lot more testing and uh, listening. How uh, how they want to going where okay um, and now we have reached the point of no return it's almost straight 
great evening. I'm um, trying to figure out how to kind of fill it because now this is this has some um, enough um, room for adding um, deep uh, things like this brooch with I can attach with a heavy body gel or this one. I think this one might go really nicely in there because it somehow falls in place easily. But how about this one? Where is this? This won't do because um, I won't be able to get it just the way I want. How about this? Artist, this has something similar. It kind of has a um, feather or a um, wing in there, but no, still no. Now, um, this is too large, so I could be this, this could really be a. Uh, Otherwise, really lovely, but oh, it goes like this. Mm -hmm. This is too much. between these now. I need um, something uh, metallic in here in the form of a vintage jewelry piece spot. is another question. Okay. Do I have... I do not have any more of this. This is my only swan. Just love this. 
This is so beautiful. Um, tiny little pooch with a um, lot of missing pieces, but somehow it speaks to me in volumes and I want it in here somewhere. I It deserves it, but how is another question. Meanwhile, I am using my special um, superpower called Heavy Body Gel. And I will use it rather heavy handedly because these I want to be right where I put them. Uh, this is a tricky uh, bit because it's not even the space because of the it's an vintage earring. So it really has to have a lot of stuff in there. But how I am going to add this is another thing entirely. Because it needs something uh, rough. It really needs something uh, strong in here. And if I put this, I'll do it. Uh, my first instinct would be uh, to put a text in it, some chipboard text or something, but just a moment. Something like maybe this. This good. This might work. Nope. This would be perfect unless um, it's not. Um, This wins every time. Look for the magic. Let's see. If I put it in here. Would it work? No. Sorry. It would. Um, but I want um, to airing go in there. So it's either way. Now I have to clean this one from all the stuff. Time is ticking, but maybe we can um, Sometimes it takes time to create Oh, it's working. I'm not happy because there is this um feeling I'm after and um I'm not getting it right. And let's, I'm 
not gluing it uh, at the moment in there. I'll just put it right there to see if it helps. It does. But still, there is something in there. And I know uh, I really should um, use maybe I'm trying to find my tiny little Yes, this is this is what it needed. This is exactly what it needed. Something um, rough in there, but I'm going to. It was only one half. Yes, now. And then it's finished. And then it's um, it has a text in there too. Inspire. Sometimes it's so simple things that make all the difference. this one off because now it's not needed and I adjust this a bit just uh, because uh, this is so heavy in there this need to go a bit so that this um, it has a symmetry in there and not looking like oh let's add another one okay ready and only now i noticed that i have <laughs> left um to i'm uh, sorry uh, for the um, color of this video it's just a bit um, muted because um, the settings are from last night when I used um, electric light and it was so yellow I needed <laughs> now I realized it sorry but here it is I um, might find something to go in there I would love there to be a key or a keyhole or something um it needs something in here it might be just um um a bit of a um darker lace if i find or even something like this going uh, in here it's actually yes i'm I'll put it right there so you can see it, what I mean. Uh, it not, uh, needs contrast there because of this. You can't see it, but I can. And here it was, really... Um, A moment of for, for from the past days 
and sounding um, gentle and uh, fragile looking, but yet with um, a power in it because they are all broken pieces and they are all ripped and all worn out and all not perfect and they make perfection together i love it so thank you so much for uh keeping me company and watching me create this and i wish you the most wonderful um spring and summertime ahead Thank you so much and bye-bye.